Hello and welcome to my Q&A. A few days ago I asked in the community tab of my channel if you guys had any questions for a potential video and you guys delivered. I am incredibly excited to answer all your questions, so without further ado, let's get into the video. Question number one. What's your sign? I am a Leo, I'm born in August, and it kind of explains my wild hair. <laughs> Definitely looks like a lion's mane. What's your major in college? I left university, but I'm going to college for cosmetology soon. I'm going to become a nail tech on the side so I can get some money in, so I can pursue other stuff in my life. What type of friend are you in a friend group? Um, I've been described as a few things, like a leader, uh, a mom friend, and also a bully. Obviously, the bully part is not in a mean way, it's just that I like teasing my friends. Um, I can understand the motherly friend, but I'm not the... I'm not the motherly friend that you guys think I would be. Like, I'm not overly affectionate. Like, I'm not affectionate to really anybody um, other than, like, a partner. But when it comes to friends, I will scold them and call them, like, an idiot while also giving them my jacket if, like, let's say they didn't bring a jacket to, like, school or something. And a leader... Honestly, I don't understand that at all because I think friend groups shouldn't have a leader or that it shouldn't be needed, um, but I've been described as one, so yeah. Is YouTube your only work? If not, what do you do for work? YouTube is just my hobby right now, but I'm currently looking for a job. I want to become an author. But until then, I want to save up some money and just some sales associate job or anything like that. What was your dream job as a kid? Other than wanting to be a princess, I wanted to be a ballet teacher. Have you got any ideas you want for a tattoo? Um, I have some. Not a lot of them, but I can put them on screen. Um, for you guys, at least the ones that I know that I 100% want or that I'm considering. But I do know where I want my tattoos. I want a bunch of tattoos on my hands and some on my arms. Um, one giant one on my back. One like little um, line or like date, like some sort of quote or something across my upper chest, like below my collarbones and then one maybe like a sword or something in between my breasts and one on my upper thigh since I have like a birthmark that I kind of want to cover up there and that's all that I have for now but I definitely want to get a bunch of tattoos I think they look so cool especially on women when will there be a video that takes place in 1995? I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit confused by this question because I don't think I've ever talked about um, an audio being in that year, unless I did and I just don't remember. Um, but yeah, if to whoever commented this, because I want to keep it as anonymous because I don't know if you guys want me to say your tags or anything, but... To whoever posted this um, question, I would love for you to elaborate. How many owls would you have to see in one day to A. Think something was up and B. Begin fearing for your life? Mm, five to think something was up and ten to start becoming concerned. Do you watch any anime? If so, what's your favorite? Yes, I do watch anime. I've been getting into it recently, even though my siblings have been fans since they've been kids. Um, but I, 
My favorite one is Attack on Titan. I have a shirt dedicated to it. I think it's such a good anime. And if you're a beginner to anime, I feel like that's one that you should definitely watch. What's your favorite food? Um, chocolate and some cultural dishes. Um, I think most of my audience won't know what I'm talking about, but I'll put up some images um, on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about, but I love them. They taste so good. What are your hobbies? Writing, photography, editing, listening to music, reading, and cooking. French fries or tater tots? I'll have to go with french fries because I've never had tater tots before. When do you think there won't be any reposts from the older channel and you'll have to post new content for this channel? I was going to upload new content for a while, but I was hesitant just because I got a lot of requests from you guys asking for older videos, so I took a little bit of a break on creating new content, but there should be a few new videos up, and I have a lot more. Um, I might ask for your guys' opinions, and if you guys have any requests for audios, you can leave them down below. How tall are you on Wednesdays? Two feet. What's your favorite dessert? Chocolate, and if that doesn't count, then ice cream. Which one are you? A dom, a sub, or a switch? And also, what's your favorite ice cream? It would be kind of funny for you guys to realize, like, oh my god, this entire time she was a sub, but I am not. Um, I would say I'm a dom. Um, the reason why I say it like that is just because I'm very laid back. I know in my audios I can seem pretty strict, but it takes a lot for me to get to that point. But... I'm pretty, like, chill. Um, if my partner wants to experiment in any sort of way, I most likely will say yes, unless I don't know what they're gonna do. Um, yeah, like, I just like taking care of people and, you know, being able to help as much as I can, so that's why I really like being in the position that I am. But as long as they ask for permission... I don't really have a problem, it just depends on what they're doing. And I like vanilla ice cream. Do you play any video games or own any consoles? If so, which ones and which ones are your favorite? Yes, I've played video games a lot, more so when I was younger, but I still try to play video games here and there. Um. And I also do have consoles, yes, I share them with my brother. Um, my favorite games would be Skyrim, Destiny, Halo, Red Dead Redemption 2, Resident Evil, <laughs> Minecraft, and there are a bunch of others, but I can't remember them right now, just because I was so young when I played them. And my brother and I have some consoles like the PS2, PS3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, a PC, a Steam Deck, and a Nintendo Switch. And then we also have Game Boys and DSs and DSis. Why is it called an oven when you of in the cold food out hot eat the food? Who is your favorite singer? I don't really have a favorite singer, but I really like BTS, Halsey, Dove Cameron, The Weeknd, and many others. Are you a fan of comic books? Yes, when I was younger, I was a huge fan of Marvel and DC comics, but now I just read web comics online that don't have to do with either company. What's your comfort show slash movie? 
Nanaland. <laughs> it's like this children's show. Um, my brother and I found it. He sent me like this meme and he couldn't stop laughing and it was from the show. And um, after that, I just became obsessed and I almost, I watch it almost all the time, but um, I got a bit too obsessed and I watched all the episodes and now I'm waiting for new ones. Favorite movies, Sultan, Dangal, and Kalank. They're all Bollywood films, but I highly suggest them because they're really good and they have such beautiful messages, cinematography, just the acting and everything is just spot on. Favorite music genre, R&B and soul. What's something you're really passionate about other than making ASMR videos, be it a hobby or something of the sort? Writing. I'm working on my debut novel. Hopefully it will come out either this year or the next year or maybe even um, in the next two years. But I am so excited to become an author one day because that has been my dream goal since like second grade. Yeah. Any favorite standalone books or book series and your opinion of seeing them have an adaptation in film or TV? Any kind of book. Do you have any favorites? Um, the Book of Lost Things and What Big Teeth are currently up there on my list for standalones. But I don't know if I would say they're my favorite, but I did really enjoy reading them. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of live adaptations. I think animation is highly underrated and we should definitely go into that path if an adaptation were to happen. Favorite comic, Bastard and Maximum Ride. I'm in the middle of a few different comics right now, but I forgot my spot. Which type of ASMR do you enjoy the most? Roleplay or traditional ASMR? Roleplay just because I don't get the tingles that everyone talks about for traditional, for oh my god, for traditional ASMR. Do you know you help people with these videos? If you do, what is the history of someone that has impacted you the most? I'm aware that people say a lot of very kind things about my audios and I appreciate it so, so much. Um, but I will say it is very hard to take in that message just because on my side, I'm not the one feeling the impact. Like, to break it down to you guys, I'm literally just some girl in her bedroom um recording audios just for your enjoyment and even though i do enjoy like making these videos and interacting with you guys it's kind of hard to process how much i can help and how much my voice or my presence um makes you guys feel but i love every kind message that comes my way obviously and I am very grateful that I found such an amazing community that appreciates me just as much as I appreciate them. I wouldn't say that anyone has impacted me the most just because all of you guys are such heartwarming individuals, but I will say just overall, thank you for interacting, thank you for subscribing, and yeah, thank you. <laughs> What was your biggest fear as a kid? Spiders, and I still hate them now. <laughs> Who's your favorite superhero? From DC, it's Wonder Woman, and for Marvel, it's the Scarlet Witch. What is your favorite video you've done? It's actually one I haven't uploaded. It was an audio where you play my friend who's moving into their new place. I come over to help you unpack. The both of us uncover these old tapes with our 
favorite childhood show on them, but we realized the show was discontinued and we have the episodes after the show was supposed to stop. We turn it on and with every tape we watch, we start to realize something is wrong. I wanted to upload those types of videos um, from the beginning. That's why I started um, doing um, ASMR and doing roleplay videos just because I've always wanted to upload those types of audios. But at that time, I was starting off like <laughs> with barely any subscribers, like maybe like 10. And um, I didn't have any voice actors to collab with because um, I had a lot of characters in those scripts because they were super well thought out. And um, yeah, I just didn't know if the channel or my audience would really like it. But if I ever get to, I would love to upload those videos and spruce them up a bit. Do you write your own scripts for your audios, or do you have someone to do it for you? I improvise almost all of my audios, except for two, which were written for me by a scriptwriter. Who do you look up to? I don't really look up to anyone. Do any types of comments get repetitive slash annoying, negative or positive alike? I want to preface this um, with saying that I'm so grateful for your guys' engagement and the fact that you guys want to comment about the video and certain things that I say and certain things that I do. It means so much to me that I have a audience that genuinely loves my work and actually cares for me behind the scenes as well. But there are some comments that do get under my nerves and um, I will be getting into them, but they go from least serious to most serious. There are three comments that irritate me. Um, the first one is comments asking me if I move to a new channel. I made it very clear on my original channel that I was leaving to restart my journey. And it kind of annoys me that people don't just wait for a second and look. I know it's a very, it's a very small thing, and it does get under my skin, but, um, especially when there will be a comment of me confirming their suspicions, just for them to comment the same question below it, um, it's just, like, you know, look around, it's, it, it's, you know, and st maybe stop referring to me as, um, the name that I had before. It's just, I've rebranded myself. Um, those who know, they know. And I just don't want to be reminded of who I once was because now I'm different. Um, the second type of comment that gets under my skin is comments asking something. And I know that might sound weird, but let me get into it. Um, a comment will ask me something in a very sweet way, and I will reply in a sweet and energetic way, but then that same person will reply to my comment in such a rude and mean way, and I'll literally be left there, staring at the comment like, did I do something wrong? And this has happened a few times, where I have to reread my whole conversation with this person and read it in different voices so that I can understand whether or not like they were being truly mean or maybe I was just making it up in my head but there have been multiple times where I'm like oh that was actually very rude of you but whatever <laughs> and next um comment is um I would say any anti-LGBT comments. I don't get these often, but I've realized that on my F4F audios, they have been becoming more prominent, and I do ban people, and I do um, delete comments when people are acting like that. Um, you do not have to support people who are in that community, community, but you also don't have to tear them down. 
Discrimination of any kind is not going to be tolerated and I have the power to ban you from my channel and I will do it. At the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, all of you guys want to be pegged by a dummy mommy, so that's actually something worth celebrating about. <laughs> What's your favorite part of making audios? Recording, editing, interacting with the audience? Um, when it comes to the more um, high quality audios, like how I was talking about the horror concept that I wanted to upload, I really like editing those videos and making thumbnails and also like the sound effects. I really like it when it comes to those specific videos, but when it comes to regular audios, because they're improvised, I really love interacting with you guys and seeing what you guys have to say. It's one of the highlights of my day. What's your weirdest dream? Um, I had a reoccurring nightmare a few years ago, and at the same time, my sister was having really bad sleep paralysis. I would describe the dream, but it would take a whole video in itself to talk about it just because a lot happens, but also it doesn't. I would have to go into a lot of detail. Do you listen to other ASMR roleplay channels? Um, I used to. Um, uh, I kind of just watch my friend now just to support him and be like, hey good job um but i have been getting back into um re-listening to asmr role plays it's just for a long while i was super turned off by them but i'm getting back so that's good i guess um what's your most favorite thing to do on weekends go to a movie theater or write sunsets or sunrises sunsets who's your role model i don't have one um do you think crying is a sign of weakness or strength strength a hundred percent i know a lot of people are raised with the idea that showing anything but happiness is weakness but i think because so many people are told to hold things in that when they do let emotions out they're incredibly strong there are so many people who go almost their entire life without crying, especially men. That's why I think it's so important to check up on people. That's why I added the mental health check-in to my channel in the first place. I know what it's like to be alone. I know what it's like to not be able to go anyone, to go to anyone. And I know what it's like to have to hold in your emotions and the want to cry because you don't have a support system around you and i don't want other people to have to go through that what's your favorite eye color i think all eyes are pretty but when i was younger i was really fascinated with blue eyes what's your name how old are you and will you ever do a face reveal um I have been contemplating telling you guys um, the answers to these questions for a while. I know that in your head you must imagine a very hot and beautiful woman, but let me just warn you and say that I don't look like anything you're fantasizing about. I'm just a regular person. I'm saying this because if I do show my face, I don't want to get bullied for not looking like a supermodel. I might tell you all this information in the future, I might show my face, but it all has to do with what decisions I make now. For example, if I want to make lewd audios, I will not disclose personal information at all. If I end up not making lewd videos, then I will most likely show you guys who I am and maybe even let you guys follow my writing account. What's your opinion on Taylor Swift? I don't really have an opinion on her. I think a lot of the hate that she gets is unreasonable, and I like some of her songs, but some of her fans have been really mean to me for no reason. 
Do you have any pets? If not, then what kind of animal would you want to get? It doesn't have to be a real one. I don't have any pets, but I want almost every pet. A cat, a dog, a tortoise, a hedgehog, a prairie dog, a koala. Honestly, anything cute and cuddly. But if it were to be a mythical one, I would choose a dragon. I could fly with my dragon and it could also protect me and keep me safe. So I would love that. If you had to get a tattoo right now, what would it be? Maybe a semicolon on like my palm area, but like under or around my thumb. Um, I'll show a picture of what I mean. <laughs> What is your love language? Physical touch, words of affirmation, gift giving, I think. And in general, I just like someone who puts in a lot of effort into showing love. Coffee or tea? Hot chocolate. What's your idea of a perfect day? I guess a perfect day would be waking up early on a weekend to go shopping with the girls in my family my mom and my sister. Other than that, I'd say getting uninterrupted sleep, eating proper meals, and getting some work done. If the universe is feeling generous, maybe they could sprinkle in a really cute boyfriend or girlfriend for me. You hear me, universe? <laughs> Who's your favorite person right now? I don't have anyone who's my favorite. Have you seen The Matrix? And if yes, do you think it's real? I have not seen it, but I think I know what the concept is. I don't really know what to think about it, but if it was real, I would probably be tripping out. <laughs> when was your first love and how did it go? <laughs> Mine was a few years ago and it didn't end so well. Like most of my relationships, I got cheated on. Yippee! <laughs> How tall are you? I'm around 5'10 or 5'11. Are you bisexual? Yes, I am. I think at least. <laughs> the reason I say that is because the definition between bisexual and pansexual changes like every two days, so I genuinely don't know which one I am. What do you like in a potential boyfriend or girlfriend? I like someone who is emotionally intelligent, someone I can have a deep conversation with, and also a really goofy, non-serious one knows how to take criticism, someone who will put an effort into the relationship, show and tell me that they love me. Unfortunately, I've been in relationships where I found out the person that I called my partner didn't even really like me. So the biggest thing for me is effort and affection, physical and verbal, and genuinely taking the initiative to show me love. So meaning like starting things instead of me always starting them. Um, and when I mean effort, that doesn't mean that you have to go all out. Like you have to spend money on me or you have to do the nines for me. I would really appreciate that. But simple things like complimenting me like on a daily basis or sending me those really cute like couple art things and being like oh this is us or oh i want to do this with you warms my heart um i like clingy people a lot i know a lot of people don't but it is my forte like oh you don't want me to get out of bed you just want me to spend the whole day cuddling and making out with you say less and someone I can make, um, someone I can make die of laughter and someone who can make me die of laughter. Someone who's down to try new things, go out, play games, just experience a fun life.
advice on pulling a dom girlfriend. <laughs> My advice most likely won't be the best, so I'm really sorry if this doesn't help at all. Take what I say with a grain of salt. I'm literally just going off of myself, so at the very least, this is a guide to me. I, I don't think that'll help anyone. <laughs> Um, regardless of your gender, I would say being on your softer side would entice a dominant woman your way. Now that doesn't mean act like an infant right away, that just means not being so cold. And um, because most dominant women, or just most women in general, are really used to people being rude to them, especially if they identify as a man. Um, it's just something that unfortunately a lot of women go through. So being very sweet and being very soft can actually make them feel a lot more comfortable around you. If you want them to know you're interested, I would say do some light teasing and flirting to bring out their competitive and cocky side. Like make a bet or a deal, but keep the vibe happy. How do you tell if someone is a red flag? There are a lot of things that could point that out. Like if they're constantly making jokes about you, then telling you to calm down when you feel disrespected. People who can't handle the energy they put out. People who cast you aside and only come back or remember you when it's convenient for them. People who are judgmental of others, even even if they're friends with those people and there are a lot more but I can't really think of them right now what was your journey figuring out you enjoyed femdom um mine was kind of a peculiar journey but um so in the 11th grade I was writing a love letter for my creative writing class because it was valentine's day and that was our that was our assignment. It was in the perspective of a female knight writing to a male shy bookworm. I soon started my channel and I made content like that with this chill yet romantic character. Um, because of my voice, people started requesting more dominant content, so I made them not realizing I would start liking them further down the line. Waffles or pancakes? I'm not that big of a fan of either, but I like waffles a lot more. If you could go to any three destinations in the world, where would you go? Greece, Japan, and India. How have you found people you are romantically interested in? I don't think you should trust my advice or experience in this in this department since I now strongly dislike those individuals, but I'll give you an answer. Only one of my exes was a switch, or at least that's what I know of, so I'll go off of him. He was eager to talk to me, but once it came down to the actual conversation, he got rather shy because I was complimenting him about his work. From there, it kind of became rather easy to flirt with him and get him to understand that I liked him in a not-so-friendly way. So I guess from the perspective of others, I come off as cool, collected, tomboyish, and just overall quiet yet dominant energy. <laughs> um, I usually show it through my body language, like I have a more masculine way of acting even when I have a more feminine way of dressing so I guess I would say if you're looking for someone who is into being a um, dominant person um, I would say look for masculinity and assertiveness now that might mean looking very closely just because not everyone especially women are gonna act super dominant right off the bat um they're usually the people who are very soft and kind that are in these positions um 
or that like being dominant. So a lot of the times they are people that you would not expect. Do your family members know about your YouTube channel? If so, what do they think? My mom knows that I upload on YouTube, but she doesn't know what I do, and I want to keep it that way. <laughs> do you know how to draw? If so, what do you like to draw the most, and how, do, how did you learn? Sorry. Mm. I sometimes draw. I usually don't draw people. I draw animals sometimes, and objects, and other buildings, and scenery. Growing up at school, we had a bunch of art classes, so I learned how to do certain things with my art from there. How do you do your makeup? I love makeup. I have a regular makeup look for when I want something simple or if I just don't know what to do and I've made spontaneous plans. Um, I usually do a brown eye look with siren-like eyeliner and basically just a dark feminine vibe to match my outfits. I also do more out there makeup looks which I will put up on screen. Um, mind you, none of these people in these pictures that I've put in this video are me. These are just reference photos of the types of um, things that I like or things that I do. Can you recommend some books, musical groups, and singers? For musicians, I would say Little Mix, Fall Out Boy, Halsey, Dove Cameron, BTS, EXO, G Idol, Chase Atlantic, The Weeknd, Lana Del Rey. For books, What Big Teeth, The Book of Lost Things, Into the Woods, Maximum Ride, the graphic novel versions. Can you play an instrument? I used to play the piano, but I forgot how to. And I have a guitar, but I don't know how to play it. Um, I've been trying to learn through videos, but for some reason it just doesn't compute. So I'm just hoping that one day I can get lessons in person. Favorite cartoon character? It's a tie between Spongebob, Patrick, and Squidward. Describe the place where you feel the most comfortable and happy. I don't have a place um, that I feel comfortable or happy, but when I eat chocolate <laughs> and when I watch Nanolan, I feel comfortable and happy. How are you? I'm good. I'm happy to answer your questions. This is honestly pretty fun. What's your most favorite comment you've ever gotten? I don't know if it's a favorite of mine, but this is definitely a comment that stood out to me and warmed my heart. Um, this person in one of my videos commented, commented saying that my voice feels like a big warm hug and that just meant so much to me. I think it genuinely communicated what power I guess I have and it just made me feel very sweet and warm and soft. Do you like donairs? I don't know what those are. <laughs> Um, and the last question of the video, do you like pretzels? Yes, I like them. I kind of want to try those giant bread ones that they have at carnivals with the chocolate inside and the powdered sugar. And that's it. Thank you to everyone who submitted questions. Thank you for everyone who tuned in and anyone who comments down below. If, let's say, you forgot that the Q&A was happening or your questions didn't get in on time, you can ask them in the comments of this video. I just want to say thank you to everyone who has been with me on this journey and it was genuinely such a pleasure to make this video and I am surprised at all the questions I got and that's a good thing, um, but 
but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys i guess learned more about me and honestly this was such a fun video to create i really like new and innovative videos like this and yeah thank you all for watching i hope you're doing well i hope you're taking care of yourself and that's it for now i'll see you in the next one bye